Okay, hey guys, and welcome to Saturday's video. So, I'm really excited because I had this idea in my mind for a while now. Quite, you know what? I think I want to do a color with me video, and I say that because I've been working at this adult coloring book um, for a while now, and I was like, I learned some techniques and tips and tricks I can give you guys if you want to use water based markers in your adult coloring book. And this is not my coloring book. I do, I know I have two books out right now, but, or three if you count in the journal, but um, I wanted to say that I will share, okay, let me start over. So we'll be doing this page together in the um, Joanna Bassford's Magical Jungle book. Um, you can, I guess, get it off Amazon or something if you really want it. Um, but uh, this is the page we'll be doing together. I'm not going to finish it because usually pages like this take a while. So, um, I am using water-based markers. Uh, I will show you. And then I also show you some finished pages that we can do for various of uh, different mediums. Like, I even use Dr. P.H. Uh, Martin Bombay Eeks. Um, I love these. And I even use that in today's video. Not today's video, but I even use that in the book. Um, these are the markers I'm just using. These are water-based markers, top of brush pen, Crayola pens, because I like to blend them together because they are uh, water-based, and I learned that technique uh, just by experimenting. So I wanted to say that uh, it's coloring me video, so grab your adult coloring book, color with me, and we'll have some fun in today's video and voiceover and the like and... Uh, I hope you guys like today's video, something different, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions on the materials I'm using. Yes, I started off using this book with colored pencils, and I'm like, it's so slow when to use other mediums in this. And just experiment like crazy. This is a great way to find your, um, your coloring style, your experimentation with different mediums. Grab an adult coloring book. In fact, I have two out right now that I can easily color in with you guys on another video. But these are my books right here. Circus Cuties and Spooky Sirens and C. Um, but I thought, you know, let's have some fun and do uh, another coloring book. So this is not my coloring book. Uh, in fact, this is Joanna Bathford's coloring book that we'll be coloring together. So, this is Magical Jungle, and I wanted to say that. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave them down in the comments down below. Turn the notification bell on so you won't miss a single video. And I hope you guys will like today's video. It's something different, relax, grab your materials, grab your adult coloring books. Let's have some fun together. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. It's a little bit different video, it's still an art video, but it's a little bit different video, and I'm going to adjust the camera in just a second. But I thought I would do some tips and tricks on how you could color your adult coloring books with water-based markers or any type of medium that you want besides color pencils. I haven't seen a video like this on YouTube yet, and when I see adult coloring, they're usually mainly coloring with colored pencils. But what if you have other supplies you can experiment with and find your own coloring style? Now, I'm going to move this out of the way because the um, it might shake for a minute. Okay, one second here. Okay, so I have, we're doing this, um, this page together. It's not completed. I will work on it after, off camera, um, but I wanted to go ahead and start it with you guys. And these are the materials I am using, just water-based markers. Um, I might title the video how to color in your adult coloring book with water-based markers or, you know, and you can still use color pencils like on top of the shading or something if you want to give it more depth. But these are the uh, water-based markers I'm using. All my supplies are in this bag that I like to use. I even use ink in this book because it is thick paper and I like that. Um, here is an example of a completed page with water-based markers and I was just having fun with this. Um, I honestly think water-based markers are my favorite medium um, besides color pencils. Um, here is with ink and more water-based and color pencil work. Um, 
done here. So, um, let me show you. Uh, this one I did watercolor, and then this one I had done, um, ink with. And I use the Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay ink. I'm gonna see the difference between the two styles. Um, even though it's a spread all together. Uh, I was having so much fun last night. Here's a page where, uh, color pistol for you. Um, and throughout the book, I thought, you know, I would try different various mediums it doesn't all have to be the same medium unless you really want it to be um but here's the water-based marker background the color pencils um you know it's just an experimentation i use adult coloring books for experimentation and whatnot and this is before anybody asked this is joanna bathford Magical Jungle and Inky Expedition Coloring Book. Uh, it's great. Um, I'm almost halfway done with it. I started this back in May. And I'm almost done with it. So I'm like really proud of myself for um, almost being done with it. So uh, that's today's video. It's a color with me. I hope you guys be laughing and enjoy your Saturday. Um, so I just wanted to touch base on that. Um, I have... This much to go, and I'm really excited. Um, it went by really fast, um, not gonna lie, but also went by really slow. Um, but yeah, thick paper, thick card stop. Um, so it's really a good book if you really want that detailed um, book, and definitely. Uh, it's not my coloring book, so I just want to preference by saying that. It's a Joanne Bethford coloring book. So, anyway, go check her out. Um, it's not a collab or anything, but I just have this coloring book, and I thought I would use it. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. To be thank you for all the new ones in the video. Okay, hey guys, now welcome to this part of the video where we do the voiceover together, and this is just me coloring the page and nothing else, but... I like to use different various medium in adult coloring books. It's just fun to color and not get bored with the same medium. And yeah, so this is the um, coloring page I'm doing right now for this book and it's Joanna Bassford's Magical Jungle. I really like it because it has a lot of greenery, greenery in it and it has leaves, um, plants, animals. You know, all the sorts and it's just really fun to color in and finding my techniques and how I want to color leaves and plants and all that and this uh and this um uh, coloring book it's not my coloring book but somebody else's and I just so uh, give them some credit because they deserve it because it is a great coloring book and I'm really liking it and it's really fun and the pages are really thick and Card stock is great because I can experiment with different mediums, so I want to mention that as well. So right now I'm currently using the top of brush pen and I like to pair it with a crayon marker so I can blend the two together. So I wanted to mention that and that's how I do the page right here. I like to use various mediums because I don't get bored and so those are my tips for you. Um, Experiment like crazy in adult coloring books. That's what they're there for, and I wanted to mention that. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me push the button, and guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.